Alrighty, so what we're gonna cover now is how to remove the sliding frames and the tracks for cleaning. So when removing the sliding frame from your window, um, you need to fully open the window. You'll look up in the track in the top and you'll see what we call the header bump. And that's a security bump so people can't lift the windows out when the windows are closed. So you'll see the end of that, open the window past the header bump and with two hands, Get a firm grip on the window, lift the window, and you'll be able to pull the bottom out. Once you've done that, bring the window down to the ground and lean it against the wall. Now you're going to be able to remove the track. I like to just use my fingers, um, and if you grab the rail, the wheel rail, and pull back towards you starting at one end, you'll be able to unclip the track. Now you're able to clean that. Use a mild uh, dish soap with water and ensure that any holes that are in that frame, they're to drain water. Make sure that those frames are not plugged with any debris before putting the track back in. The track will go back in the same process as you did to take it out. The ed edge that's closest to you to the inside, drop that in first and then from one end to the other, you'll be able to push down. Once that's clicked back into position, you're ready to put your frame back in. While your frame is out, that is a good time to inspect the weather stripping. Make sure the weather stripping is fully intact, there's no damage to it, um, and you can also clean that. So this is a good time to clean the frames on the inside with your soap and water. The weather stripping, give that a good wipe with the same cleaner. Okay, and then once you're ready to put things back together, you've got your track back in. Now you can put your sash in or your, your sliding frame in. Grab the window, get a good grip on it. The bigger they are, the heavier they are. Again, when you're lifting it in place, make sure you're lifting it up past that same header bump, and that will allow you to get it all the way up so that the bottom of the frame will pass the lower section. Once you have that in, gently bring it down. Now the wheels are sitting on the rail of the track. Check the window to make sure it slides freely before doing anything else. If it's sliding freely, you're in the right position. I